So EPRI won the United States Water Prize for a project that we're implementing in the Ohio River Basin. It is the world's largest water quality trading project and involves three states, Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky. We started the project really in 2009, and our motivation was to test the viability of water quality trading for meeting social, economic, and ecological criteria. We wanted to really increase the science that we were using in the program with modeling and make sure that those credits were real and valid and could be applied towards either permit regulations or to meet stewardship sustainability goals. So water sustainability is a critical issue for the United States. It has been an issue historically and will continue to be an issue for many decades to come. And addressing water is, is such a complicated issue. There's so many stakeholders and organizations that use water and depend on the functioning ecosystem services that watersheds provide. To address this issue, it's really going to take multiple organizations and multiple parties coming together to work in one platform and collaboratively to try to achieve an end that we all need to work towards, which is sustainable use of our water resources in the United States. So our Ohio River Basin trading project really started momentum in, in the summer of 2012 when the first three states signed on to the trading plan. When those states signed on to it, it really created the platform for an interstate trading project because all the states, both the permitting authority and the ag agencies, agreed to the same set of rules and how the program was, gonna, was going to be implemented. It took about a year after that before we were ready to transact credits and we had BMPs installed on the ground with farmers. We knew those conservation projects were generating real and viable nitrogen and phosphorus credits. We transacted those credits with the first three buyers, Hoosier Energy, Duke Energy, and American Electric Power. And since then, we've been getting ready for our first public auction. The public auction is when we really open up the project for more folks to participate and buy credits. And it sets the stage really for broader participation in this program, for more corporate buyers to come to the table, for companies that have impacts in their supply chain coming out of the Ohio River Basin with those farmers. And it's important for both uh, stakeholders, individuals, and those corporations to be thinking about what is the impact of the products that they use and the supply chains that they support. And this project gives a very unique opportunity for those companies to purchase credits, verified real credits to provide turnkey mitigation. The United States Water Prize is important for our project because we know that a organization that is independent of the program has taken the time to look at the project from a professional and scientific perspective. And in that review, they have determined that the project is implementing practices and protocols that are important for managing water sustainability in the United States. The Water Prize Committee that has reviewed this project, they are top-notch uh, people and organizations in the United States. And the fact that they have looked at our project and believe that it's important program for managing our water resources gives us strength and credibility, not only for the project team and for the stakeholders that have been involved in this, but for future credit buyers that would like to buy credits that they know are real and valid. So we're extremely proud of receiving it. We understand the honor that it provides to the project and we're grateful for that and we hope that more water quality trading projects will, will also receive that honor in the future and meet the standards that our program has achieved.